and the final version, or we could say completed. When we say final version of the report, okay. So Evelyn asked report by. Well, by means what time here, Evelyn? Okay, so what time do you want this report? Maybe it's a deadline. All right, so you have until Tuesday to finish this report. By Tuesday. Okay. And testing water. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> yeah, if, if you test the water to see how, how uh, things are, you, you see if that version or your draft is meeting what the person who ordered the report wants, right? So that would be like you testing the water with a draft, okay? So probing questions can also investigate whether there is proof for what's been said, right? So you could ask, how do you know that the new database can't be used by the sales force? Right? So someone has told you that this new database can't be used by the sales force. So you can ask, well, how do you know that? You know, and he will tell you then more information to make it clear. Okay. So probing questions are also good for gaining clarification to ensure you have the whole story and that you understand it thoroughly. Okay, and here's an example of that. How does this affect the next quarter profit? Okay, so he's giving you a lot of information about uh, what's happened as far as sales this this period, so you want to know, will this affect the next quarter? Okay, so you get more clear information that you need. And also probing questions can draw information out. And we looked at this as about the same as elicit that we talked about earlier, but it's getting more information that is than is given to you. Uh, so it's more like extra information. You get more extra information than what the person told you to start with. Right? Maybe he doesn't want to tell you that information, but you ask a probing question so that he will tell you. Right? So maybe he's talking about the uh, cost of uh, production and shipping and stuff, and you say, why haven't you mentioned higher oil prices as part of the cost, maybe? Okay, so, and here's a tip. Use questions that include the word exactly to probe further. So maybe he makes a general statement about something, and you could ask, what exactly do you mean by fast track? Or who exactly wanted this report, right? So somebody tells you, this guy is on a fast track. Well, what exactly do you mean by a fast track? Or maybe they tell you, we have to do a report. And you say, well, who exactly wanted this report? Maybe you think the, the guy is just making it up. So you want to find out by using the word exactly. Okay. So let's see. Evelyn. Ask about force. Okay, where is force here? Hmm. I don't see force on this page, Evelyn. Okay, well, when you force someone, you make someone do something. Okay, you force them. You don't uh, accept no for an answer. You force them to do it. Okay, and fast track uh, usually means everybody supports something. Right, so that it uh, gets done quicker. Gets done quicker. It's on a fast track, or maybe it's a project that has to be fast tracked in order to be able to finish it. Right, so that uh, everybody has to support this project so that it's finished earlier than you would think. Okay, it gets done quicker. 
Alright, and salespeople pushed, yes, forced. Joshua pushed, forced is pushed to do something. Okay, good. Alright. So let's take a look at our useful words and phrases here. Elicit is to bring out something, right? We said that. Uh, information usually you get. A respondent as the person who replies or an answerer. <laughs> and disclose is to reveal. Is that reveal or make known openly, right? And when you home in on something, you focus on it. And relive is go through a situation again, and usually by your, from memory, right? But you have to ask those questions so that they remember more detail. And something is probing when you examine it very thoroughly or closely. And a draft is the first form of writing. And maybe it will be revised later on. And a version is a description from one point of view as opposed to another. Okay, so we have a version that maybe looks good to you, 